Hello everybody and welcome. I am Mr. Dan. I am. I am Dan. Mr. Dan. I am Dan. Mr. Dan. I am. This is my first uh, video uh, for YouTube, for my new YouTube channel, again with the same name, Mr. Dan I am. And what we're here to do today is to look at this beautiful desk in front of me. Wait, no, that's not strictly true. What we're actually here to do is to open up this little beauty. The Magic the Gathering Shadows over Innistrad booster box released yesterday from all your favorite stores worldwide. So this is going to be the first video of many, many booster boxes coming over the next few years or however long this may last. I will be doing weekly videos as well uh, for booster packs weekly from various Magic the Gathering sets. Starting with probably Shadows over Innistrad, well it will be Shadows over Innistrad the next one, but over the course of the uh, weeks, months and years I will be doing various other booster packs way back from history and the newest sets whenever they are. I will also be doing video game videos, keep an eye out for them. I am on Twitter, I am on Facebook, I will be putting all the details on those pages as well, so please feel free to follow me, all details will follow at the end of this. But without further ado, and try not to sound like I'm at a wedding right now. Let's get out into business. So we are here today to open this box. So let's get this started and see what fun awaits us. And it's uh, certainly not the first time I've done a booster box opening, but yes, certainly the first time I've ever recorded one. So let's see what fantastic things we can get. It's been a, uh, it looks like a very good set, this one, in all fairness, from what I've seen um, from looking through the previews and people talking about the pre-releases, the cards, the mechanics. Uh, I think everything looks good. Innistrad is a pretty favourite one for a lot of people, a favourite plane. Uh, even for myself, unfortunately, I missed out on the last Innistrad set because I wasn't collecting Magic the Gathering at the time. I had started a long time ago, had a little bit of a break from Magic the Gathering, and then came back into it during Return to Ravnica. So unfortunately, missed out on Innistrad last time, but here we are, and, uh, well, I'm going to be doing this one now. So let's see what happens. This does look like a very good set. All your favourite Werewolves, humans, vampires, devils, zombies, spirits, everything, beasts included. Um, even, in fact, now talking about the set, just these booster packs, I've got to be honest, look pretty cool. I think these are the coolest looking booster packs we've had from any set for a while. Uh, anybody box mapping out there, I will be doing the norm. Uh, left to right, top to bottom, so if you do want to box map, please feel free. Right, let's get this show on the road. Let's put these over here. And let's see what we get from booster number one. I will be skipping straight to the uncommons and rares for the simple sake of saving time. It would take us forever if we went through everything after all. So, here we go. Could take us a little bit longer than normal, especially with the fact of all the flip cards. But uh, let's see what we get in these uh, first boosters. Right, so skipping straight through. Okay, first uncommon, Breakneck Rider. And it's a Human Scout Werewolf flip card. Fantastic. So at the beginning of each upkeep, if no spells were cast last turn, transform Breakneck Rider. Same with many of them. And uh, transforms into Neckbreaker instead. Cool little card there. Uh, now we've also got Not Forgotten, so you put target card from Grave on top of its on top or bottom of its owner's library, put a 1-1 one -one white spirit creature token onto the battlefield with flying. Very cool. Okay, Biting Rain, all creatures get minus 2, minus 2 with the Madness effect. And first rare, in fact, we have... Ah, okay, we've got four uncommons because of the Breakneck Rider. Yes, can take place of a common. So, Briarbridge Patrol is still uh, another uncommon. And now, our first red. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Well, would you believe it? I don't know how you pronounce it. You can never think of it. Triskaidekaphobia or something like that. Now, this went... Well, did a lot of the pre-releases from what I heard of people saying. It is a fantastically good card and already got a foil uncommon. A uh, Obsessive Skinner. We have a zombie token card there. So, uh, what a uh, what a booster pack to start with. Fantastic. So, let's see what uh, see what else we get now. That's a uh, Triskaidekaphobia, however you pronounce it. Like I say, it seemed to do a lot of rounds on the internet from what I saw at the pre-releases. Was helping a lot of people get some wins early on. 
Um, so, uh, well, and also with its fantastic abilities, what a great card to start with. So, let's skip through again. Okay, a Cursed Witch, again, flip card. Into Infectious Curse. Sorry about that. A little bit of a uh, blur. There we go. Elusive Tormentor. Fantastic. Okay. Oh, wow. In fact, that is... Oh, wow. We've got a flip rare early on. If placing one of the uncommon. So here's a rare already. Uh, so let's flip that one over again. Yeah, the other side of it. Hexproof in the strip point. Seas Mist can't block and can't be blocked. Fantastic. Another rare there. Uh, Trail of Evidence. In a struggle. Tooth Collector, getting a lot of uncommons here due to these uh, differences with the uh, flip cards. And next rare is Cryptolith Right, creatures you control have tap add on mana of any colour to your mana pool. Spirit Token that time. Third booster. So. For those looking out for the mythics, planeswalkers, various things, mythics tend to come up as we all know one in eight, so uh, we may get to one a little bit later on. Uh, first one coming for this pack is Reaper of Flight Moon Silver. Li love this card. 3 3 Angel Flying, of course. Great card. Love that one. Uh, let's have a Pale Rider of Trostad. Okay, Skulk. Nice. Uh, well, yeah, this creature can't be blocked by a creature with greater power. Okay, Crawling Sensation. And Nephilia Moondrakes is the rare. 5-5 five, five for 7 flying. When Nephilia Moondrakes enters the battlefield, target creature gains flying until end of turn. Uh, 4 and 2 blues. Exile Nephilia Moondrakes from your graveyard creature control gain flying until end of turn. And a clue. Fantastic. One of the clues. I heard a lot about them as well. People getting multiple of those out on each turn. Uh, or sacrifice and lots. And uh, again, a lot of draw cards. Okay, Aberrant Researcher. Flip card to perfected form. Flying 5 4. There we go. Compelling deterrence. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, in, in, yes, that one. Incongruable use. There we go. Yeah, that's exactly how you pronounce it. <laughs> Perhaps not. 5 mana haste madness 4 3. Epitaph Golem. And. Markov Dread Knight, Vampire Knight, 5 mana, flying 3-3, three, three. discard a card, put two 1-1 one, one counters on Markov Dread Knight for the uh, 1 Swamp and the 2 of any other colour. And another clue for us there. So, next one. Avacyn Missionaries. Humble the Brute. There we go. Ghoulsteed. Halpak Resurgence. And a Game Trail, so the first rare land. And a Devil Token in that one. Here we go on to the next one. Gibbering Fiend. Haunted Cloak. Bygone Bishop. Three mana flying two three. Whenever you cast a creature spell with converted mana cost three or less, investigate. And there you go, getting your clues. And a foil tenacity. Very cool. Very nice looking foil. And another clue token in there. There we go. Home to the Nathanals, of course. Flip card to Lone Wolf of the Nathanals. Bound by Moonsilver. Stitchering Scarb. Moonlight Hunt. And from under the floorboards. Very cool. Lots of black zombies. Put three 2-2 two, two black zombie creature tokens onto the battlefield tapped and you gain three life. If... From under the floorboards, madness cost was paid. Instead, put X of those tokens on the battlefield tapped, and you gain X life. And another clue. Many, many clues coming out now. Here's pack number eight. So, 
No planeswalkers, no mythics as of yet. Let's see if we'll get one here. So, we have Neglected Heirloom, which is a flip, of course. Ashmouth Blade, very cool. And we have another rare in place of one of the uncommons, slash one of the commons. Uh, Handware Militia Captain, two mana. At the beginning of your upkeep, and you're, if you're, sorry, if you control four or more creatures, transform Handware Militia Captain into Westvale Cult Leader. Westvale Cult Leader's power and toughness are each equal to the number of creatures you control. At the beginning of your end step, put one, one white and black human cleric creature token onto the battlefield. Very cool. Toppelgeist. Geist Blast, Wild Field uh, Scarecrow, Wild Field Scarecrow, and Eerie Interlude. Exile any number of target creatures you control. Return those cards to the battlefield under owner's control at the beginning of the next end step. And a zombie again. Still searching for that first mythic, and will we see a planeswalker in this? Set. Well, we'll certainly hope so. Or in this box, should say. So, Rise from the Tides. Tenacity, of course, got a full one of those earlier. Obsessive Skinner. And, well, there we go. Triscadophobia, or however you pronounce it again. Let's get a second one of them. Fantastic. Great card. And a Vampire Knight with Lifelink this time as a token. Doing well for black uh, res so far. Our so Duskwatch recruiter into Crawl and Horde Howler. Pick the brain. Dissension in the ranks. Sinister concoction. And a declaration in stone. Two mana. Exile target creature or and all other creatures that control the controls with the same name as that creature. That player investigates for each non-token creature exiled this way. Uh, vessel of volatility. Foil. And another clue. It's a still my mythic. And no planeswalker. A flip card into Wayward Disciple. Reckless Scholar. Spectral Shepherd. Pack Guardian. And Cryptolith Rite again. <laughs> Get a few uh, double rares coming up in this pack. Swamp and a Human Soldier token this time. So last card on the left hand side pile. So Pale Rider of Trostad. Dance with Devils. Woodland Stream. Second Harvest. Very cool. Four mana for each token you control. Put a token onto the battlefield. That's a copy of that permanent. And another clue. 